Hello everyone, my name is Ella. Welcome back to another video. Been a hot minute, huh? First of all, I would like to apologize for the almost month, was it a month? It may have been a full month without videos. Firstly, I severely underestimated how difficult it was going to be to try to create a YouTube video on my phone without the YouTube app. And that didn't work out, so that's why you didn't get the Disney video. And then the week after that, AT&T didn't show up, and that was a whole mess. So I switched services to Spectrum for Wi-Fi, and I didn't get that until the third week here. So I am finally back with Wi-Fi, I'm back with video editing capabilities, and I am back with another universal yums box so let's jump right into it this was kind of messed up because they shoved it into my tiny little box in my uh mail room at my other apartment so i had to like open it to get like a grip on it so i could tug it out uh but i don't want to open it that way i'm gonna try and get the sticker off on the bottom there we go Let's see where we're going this month. <gasps> Greece! Welcome to Greece, everyone. We are going to Greece with our snacks this month. Technically last month, this was the July one. It's August when I'm filming it because I couldn't film. But our little sticker for this month says, I discovered the golden fleece. Fleece is marked out and it says feast in Greece. So, there's our cute little sticker, our little booklet for this month. Let me just get my card ready. My name is Ella. And let's see what snacks we have. Ooh. They heard my plea in my last video and they gave me more salty snacks in this one. By more, I mean like two. Uh, first, we have Potis Waves, with like potato chips, and they are tomato and paprika flavored, so that'll be fun. And then we also have, from the same brand, Totis Fine Bakery, bread chips that are garlic flavored. I bet those will pop with some pasta. And then we also have this, is everything in this from the same, like, company? No, ooh, that's, I don't know if that's supposed to be like, like, it's like filled with air. Anyways, uh, this is also from Tautis. It's called Serenata. And then it says, finger. Milk chocolate wafer with cocoa cream. So we have that, that's our first sweet. And then since I already popped this one up because it looks a little weird, we have traditional Greek pastry, almond baklava. I've had baklava like from like, like Walmart, but not like real baklava. Next, we have something that is surely going to be strange. The brand is called Fedon, Fedon and it is grape must flavored soft cookie. I have never had any kind of like baked good that was supposed to taste like grapes. So that's going to be interesting. And back this month we have the yum bag. Let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, we have four candies, two of each as per the norm. So first of all, we have Almond, the Greeks like their almonds. We have almond flavored Kokos toffee. That's a tiny little thing. And then I have Frugeli. I'm guessing it's the same kind of thing. This one is all in Greek, so I can't read. Oh, no, it's different. So we have Frugeli jelly candy, also from Kokos. It's pomegranate flavor jelly candy. So. So this means that we have five, six, seven snacks. So we're gonna split them up and 
get to snacking. I have been waiting for this. You don't understand. I've had this box in my apartment for like two weeks now. And I just couldn't do it yet because I couldn't film it yet. And I didn't want to open it without filming it. So, uh... I've had to wait, and it's been staring at me for so long, and I, I just wanted to eat it, and now we're gonna. So we're gonna start with the bread chips. Um, I'm assuming these are gonna be kind of like, like if you've ever had the like pretzel chips, or this might be like that, those tiny little like bagels that were like this small. Those bread things that we got, I believe it was from Italy, that were like lemon pepper flavored. It might be like that. So here's what they look like. Um, what these look like, they look like rye chips. Just obviously not rye bread. So, bottoms up. It's very light on the garlic flavor. I'm a little disappointed. I really thought it was going to be more garlicky, like garlic bread, like that you'd get from like an Italian restaurant. But it was very, very light on the garlic flavoring. It was kind of sad. So having said that, for the garlic bread chips, we are going to give it 5 out of 10. Not very garlicky. Alright, next I'm going to do the milk chocolate wafer with the cocoa cream. Pop that open just a little bit. So yeah, it looks kind of like a Kit Kat, like a chocolate Kit Kat. I don't know why I specified chocolate. Most Kit Kats are chocolate, but um, let's go. That's good. It's good. It's not like the best thing I've ever had. But it's good. It's okay. Where is this on my scorecard? Number six. I'm going to give this a seven out of ten. It's okay. All right. Next, I'm going to get the uh, pomegranate flavored jelly candy out of the way just because I'm not sure... I mean, I like the little, like, chocolate-covered, like, pomegranate candies that you get. The, like, Brookside candies. But uh, this looks like a uh, Turkish Delight, almost. It's a little squishy little square. It's got, like, granulated sugar on the outside of it. Let's go. Oh. I wasn't expecting it to give that easily. Like, I thought it was going to be more of a firm uh, candy. It's almost like... It's almost like they cut, like, a little square of, like, actual, like, fruit jelly. And then just, like, rolled it in granulated sugar. It was interesting. Very interesting. Alright. That one is going to get a 6 out of 10 different. Right. Next, I'm going to go ahead and pop open the uh, tomato and paprika waves. Best before. See printed date. October 20th. It's fun to see like the different stuff in here because some of it is like only going to be good for like a month when you get it. And then some of these in here are like good until 2022 and you're like what in the world but uh, let's see here yep. so very much kind of like a if you've ever had a ketchup flavored potato chip very much so like this so I'm just gonna mm. That was good as soon as I popped it in. It's like salty and tangy 
and just a little bit of kick from the paprika this I don't mean to say this prematurely but this is the best snack in the box so far 10 out of 10 perfection underlined that was so good I'm definitely gonna finish that after this video um okay next I'm gonna do the soft cookie that tastes tastes like grapes I don't know what grape must is like I've never had that phrase before and it smells like grapes so it looks like a little bagel kind of almost uh, or like half a bagel I guess but there it is it's oh it's, it smells like gingerbread kind of I wonder if it's gonna taste like gingerbread mmm I don't know what that tastes like. Okay, not gingerbread, but like the like molasses cookies or like the molasses bread that you can get from stores. That's exactly what it tastes like. I don't taste any grape at all. It just tastes like the molasses cookie. Okay, so that, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Um, ba -ba -ba. I'll give it a solid seven out of 10. Weird. I feel like all my adjectives this time are just like very slacking, but like, I don't know, none of these, except for those tomato and paprika chips, none of these are like doing it for me. Okay, next I'm gonna do the almond baklava. I have no idea how I'm gonna open this. Uh, I hope you can see how like inflated this bag is when I hold it up. Like it looks like a little like pillow. I don't know. I'm gonna have to open this so carefully. I feel like it's gonna like pop. Ooh, it did pop kind of a little bit. Alright. Oh, okay. So I assumed it was just gonna be like in the package, like by itself, but it's in a little like plastic tray. This is gonna be so messy. Okay. Alright. So there it is. In this little plastic tray. Um, I have no idea how I'm gonna eat this. I guess I'll just tip it up and take just a tiny bite. Mm. That's good. I like that. It's very nice. My hands are messy now. Excuse me for a second. And we're back. Okay, uh, ba -ba -ba, that's number one. I'll give that a solid eight out of 10. Satisfying. And then last but not least, we have the also almond flavored toffee. There it is. Pop that open. Ooh, that's so, that's some crunchy paper right there. And then, oh, it's like wrapped in like wax paper. And the wax paper is like very stuck to the candy. Toss that over there. So there it is. It almost looks like a caramel chew, kind of. This is a bit of a side note, but do you remember when we were like kids and at the grocery store they used to have like the candy lined up where you could like put it in a little bag, kind of like how they do at like airports or like at candy stores and stuff, but they used to have it at Walmart. Like, do people remember that? Am I... I'm not making that up, right? Like, that existed, right? Like, they had that, like, at Walmart. I don't know. If you remember that, leave me a comment because I'm almost certain that was real because I'm almost certain I remember always reaching in to get, like, one of the little, like, caramel candies and then just, like, eating it right there. I, I'm cool. Anyways, we're going to eat this almond-flavored toffee now. Very nice, very 
was a very soft chew. Both of those like little candies were like softer than I expected them to be. So that was really nice. And the flavor was really good. Like I like almonds as it is, just like as a snack. But I feel like almond flavoring is something that can be kind of hit or miss if it's like something else that's flavored as almonds. But both of these, like the baklava and this candy, were both really good. And I liked them a lot. So I'm going to give the almond toffee also an 8 out of 10. Nice! So now we have reached that portion where I decide my favorite, my worst, and my weirdest yum. Favorite yum, without a doubt, is going to be number 4, the tomato and paprika chips. Those were good. The worst yum, definitely the bread chips, number two. Those, those really, they let me down. I really wanted it to be something better. And then the weirdest yum is definitely going to be that uh, grape soft cookie. That was very strange. <clears throat> All right, let's see what their little game on here is. No gold medals. Ancient Olympians had a different price to claim. The winners got an olive... Branch? Is it branch? It says it's on number nine. I think technically you're supposed to like do a scavenger hunt and find... Uh, the words... Not branch. Wreath. It was a wreath. Which, you know... I feel like I should have known that. For what it's worth... Wreath and Branch both have the same number of letters, so. Anyways, so that's that. Let me read off some facts about Greece. Athens, more than 50,000 artifacts were discovered during the construction of this capital's metro. Florina, locals know it as Greece's coldest, snowiest city. Burr, we know it as the home of your garlic chips. Yum! Florina, you let me down. Let's pick one more. Veria, the sticky almond treat in your box, the baklava, was baked in this 2,000 year old city. Interesting. Let's look in our booklet. Ba -ba -ba. So, this one, their food recipe is called shrimp saganaki. That almost sounds like Japanese. Uh, I'm not a big fan of seafood though, so I'll probably never make it. Um, there's the information about all the snacks and everything. And then here we go. Their, their drink is once again non-alcoholic, but I feel like you could make it alcoholic if you wanted. Um, it's called Visinatha. Or a cherry cordial. All you need is six ounces of fresh sour cherries, one cup of granulated sugar, two tablespoons water, three drops lemon juice, and one cup of cold water. There's a bunch of instructions. I was gonna like read through the instructions in case anyone wanted to like make it, but this looks very hard to make. So that's it. I feel like this video was super fast. Usually my video is like cut off by now, but uh, I guess we're done. Um, uh, that's all of our snacks for this box. That's everything. Next week, I'll probably do, like, an update video about how the first month-ish has been in my new apartment. And, uh, then we'll just kind of go from there. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like to be notified of when I post new videos, go ahead and click that little bell icon somewhere down there. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye!